And now, time for another session with Radio West's very own private ear. What have you got for us this evening, Eddie? Another shaggy dog story? Because I am an officer and a gentleman, they have given me my notebooks, pen, ink and paper. I am committed to no cause. I love no living person. The fact that I have no future doesn't seem to disturb me unduly. Good morning. Get off the pavement, you bloody coon. Yeah. Get off. Careful. <laughs> Come out where I can see you. Yeah. I said, what you doing? We were just trying to clean up the neighborhood a little. You'll find there's room for us all. Why do you allow them to talk about your husband in this fulsome fashion? Have you no shame, girl? Darling, I'm sure you've had too much manly gossip and old brandy. Like the muck they drag out of everybody in the law courts. Where were you on the night of the 27th of November last? Answer yes or no. But it's not quite so simple as all that. You mustn't forget that I was with Martin at the cottage that very Saturday morning. Well, what about it? Well, I was there when the parcel post came with the letters in the morning. I don't forget anything about that morning, and neither would you if you'd been dragged into that hellish inquest as I was. But he didn't have that cigarette box. Must have arrived by the afternoon post then. What's the matter? Well, it doesn't matter at all, Frida, darling. Except that at Fallow's End, parcels are never delivered by the afternoon post. Yes, they are. No. Oh, for God's sake, don't drag that money into it. We don't want all that over again. Martin's gone. Leave him alone, can't you? And shut up about the rotten money. Gordon, be quiet. You're behaving like a hysterical child. He didn't care, as Frida says. I knew he told me about it. Why should I lie about it? Martin told me. He used to tell me everything. Rubbish! Beelzy, you're making this up. Every word about me, I know you are. Martin would never have said that about me. He knew how fond I was of him. And he was fond of me, too, in his own way. He was. You're just saying this because you're jealous. I'm not! You've always been jealous of Martin's interest in me. Oh. Jealousy, jealousy! If you thought I was a nuisance, Martin wouldn't have kept asking me down to the cottage. He was tired of you pestering him and worrying him all the time. He was sick of women. He told me so. He wanted me to tell you so that you'd leave him alone. You're making me feel sick! Will you just Stop leave it. me alone? Stop it! Friend of mine? He wasn't a friend of mine. Martin was the only person on earth I really cared about. I couldn't help it. There he was. I'd have done anything for him. 500 pounds. My God, I'd have stolen 5,000 pounds from the firm if Martin had asked me to. He was the most... Marvellous person I'd ever known. Martin told me everything! And that was the finest thing that ever happened to me. There was I dragged into that foul inquest. Did I know this? Did I know that? My God, and all the time I wasn't the last person he talked to at all. I'm replacing Mr. Fryer with Mr. Christian, who will now act as executive second in command with the rank of acting second lieutenant. We'll dismiss when I have done with you, sir. Do you hear me? This is an outrage. Mr. Fryer. Must I suffer this before the... You will following? suffer my correction whenever you're at fault, sir. What fault? Don't damn your eyes, man! You turned your back on me! But I protest. You protest, do you? I am master of the bank. And I say I'm commander! Don't answer back. Mr. Christian, Mr. Young, put a gag on Quintal. It wasn't bloody me! Well, you've got the wrong man, sir. Churchill said it was he who made the remark. Gag them both. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm dead impressed by all this. You were the one at school. 
The one I liked. No. I don't do nothing rough no more. I'm not looking for a mass murderer, you <laughs> bloody fool. I wouldn't be working for you now if I wanted to go on being a bad boy. This means more. Do I really have to remind you, Miss Jessel, that this hospital was built for all the people of Wednesford? It is not Dr. Craig's private nursing home. You're a minister of the gospel, a Christian. I put it to you. If you were faced with an alternative of this kind between the saving of a human life and the technical infringement of a rule, what would you do? Don't move. Stay where you are. Ginevra de Benci. Did you know you were a Leonardo, smiling at things beyond our ken? Even I have found him tenants for his sissy villa. I've won a great victory for the comic muse. Friends of mine, Lucy, the whole joke is to come. They're absolute strangers whom I happen to meet in the National Gallery. They said they wanted a country cottage, and did I know of one? A simple burrow they could call their own, where they could smell the earth. I believe in democracy. No, you don't. You don't know what the word means. I consider it most disloyal of you. Temper, Lucy, temper, please. Italy and London are the places where I feel I truly belong. I am something of an inglese italianato. E un diavolo incarnato. You know the proverb? I somehow think that you feel more at home with me in a room. Never in the real country like this. Up to now, I have never kissed you. No, you haven't. May I now? Well, of course you may, Cecil. Is that so long as I'm no trouble to anyone, I have the right to do as I like. It is, I dare say, an example of my decadence. I had a few days off, so I came to see you. How nice, come in. Never thought you'd end up in a place like this. I haven't ended up here. As long as you don't stay here forever, it's fine. We used to talk a lot about how we should live, not one life, but many lives. About how we should love not one person, but many people. You've changed. Of course I have. And so many people produce bad photographs. You should take it up seriously. No, they're very nice. Don't you think so? OK. charge it to my room? Yes, of course. And my shift finishes at six. And at six, I have to be back in Prague. Well, around six. Well, I've checked out of my room. Are you leaving? Yes, it's getting late. I just came for an operation. A colleague of mine was supposed to come, but he injured himself, so... Maybe I'll come back sometime. Why would you come back here? Hello. Hello. Oh. You are in Prague. I just arrived. I'm... Why don't you come in? Are you alone? Yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. No. When I watched you dancing with another man, I thought to myself, he could be her lover. <laughs> I'm not. No, jealous. I'm not jealous, Teresa. He's jealous. No, he isn't. Who's He's he? Jealous. <laughs> He's jealous. I'm not He's jealous. jealous. Hello. <laughs> 
Doesn't look at all like Anna Karenina. Look at that face. It's a man's face. We left here once. We were in Switzerland. Then we left Switzerland. Now you want to leave again. Why? I want to leave. They've taken our passports. We can't go anywhere. You've dislocated your shoulder. And I'm going to put it back for you. It's going to hurt. Do you feel better? I'll drive. I'll drink. <laughs> no, no, I can't drink. I must not drink. I'm driving. Oh, my Yourself to a jolly old drink. Hello. <clears throat> I didn't see you there. I have an illogical but profound dislike for the English. <laughs> then why'd you laugh? Uh, because I assumed you were joking. Oh, I never joke about the English. Ape your style. Ape your mannerisms. Ape your attitudes. Ape your values. Sad. Misguided. Pathetic. You too, asshole. Who the hell are you? What do you want? Save it! I've never seen this woman before in my life. What? I know this must happen. It's not what it seems. I can explain that. Stop hitting me! Get indoors! I mean, for God's sake, open up, please. I mean, I can explain everything. I mean, I promise you, I'm like, as it may seem, there is an explanation. Do I just ask that you give me. I mean, please, you can't go. You... Father, come on, Christy. Seventeen candles. Now take a deep breath. Come on. Come on, Christy. Come on, Christy. Save it, Christy. Good save. Ah! He hit me. You can't hold a wolf. Right. Christy? No! Christy, there's somebody here to see you. Another time! What a child, is this? There's too many children. Christy, if you like, we can work here. Fuck <laughs> off. With speech therapy, I could teach you how to say fuck off more clearly. <laughs> One, two, just relax with it, relax. Three, blue. Steady, steady, three. And one big breath. Fly towards us that we know not of. This conscience doesn't make cowards of us all. Oh, and thus, the yeah. native human. Well, what do you think about Hamlet, Christy? A cripple. Can't act them. Well, he did in the end. Too late. I like you very much. And I like you, Christy. You have the heart of a poet. No, I... I love you, Eileen. And I love you, Christy. No. I really love you. Well, I'm glad you like Peter Christy because we're going to get married <coughs> in six months. Oh, 
I'm glad you told me how to speak. Why did you say you loved me? Because I do love you. Oh, you mean platonic love. Fuck all love. There is not a hundred percent commitment. <laughs> Stop it. We love the crap. We love It's for you. It's yours. I can't take it, son. Man, and I'm a writer. I know it's mad, man. I want you to have it. Get yourself a dress and a new pair of shoes. Will you? My father says you're not from around here. No, I'm from Ireland. What's your name? Estella Gentile. Fergus O'Connell. I've come from the United States. New Jersey. Have you heard of it? My mom wants to know if you're going to eat at the house. No, thanks anyway. I have to get on with my work. You shouldn't be eating that. Bad stuff. Cause you a lot of trouble in the future. Look what I've got for you. Which color do you like? Just any. You must have a favorite color. Yellow. There's six for the children, two for the parents, and a yellow one for you. But they're free! You don't have to pay for them. I'm not a toothbrush salesman. What do you do? I'm a dentist. No, I'm not on holiday. I'm working. Where? Everywhere, here, there. Wherever! That's El Salvador. Horrible place. Children, grown-ups, everyone has cavities and pyre air. It's really terrible. That's an Indian chief in Ecuador. What are your plans for the future? Do you have a boyfriend? Tell him I got married. Pardon? Oh, forget what? it! Well, I have to be back on the road again by tomorrow. If you put your signature down there, it ought to be enough. The Foundation insists on a complete record of my expenses. Everything accounted for, you know? Of course. Thanks for the toothbrushes. Don't forget to use them. I have to get to bed early. I'm leaving tomorrow at dawn. After all, men are not plants. They have to keep moving. Always moving. Get out of there. Get off my motorcycle! What in the name of Jesus do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be getting married. You must be out of your mind. All right, get in. I'm taking you back home. I am going to Rio Gargiegos. You can do as you please. what you want with your own scalp, then I'll be telling us what we ought to do with ours. You call yourself a patriot and loyal subject to the crown? Do not call myself subject to much at all. No, Doctor. In case your aim's any better in your judgment. There is a war on. How is it you are heading west? Well, we kind of face to the north and real sudden like turn left. The militia is fighting the French in the north. I ain't your scalp. You sure ain't no damn militia. If English law cannot be trusted, maybe these people would do better making their own peace with the French. That is sedition! That is the truth! Someday I think you and I are going to have a serious disagreement. I'll cover you from the top of the bastion. You're not coming with us? I've got a reason to stay. No offense, but it's a better looking reason than you, Jack Winthrop. <laughs> if we don't go in that, there's no chance! None! You understand? Coward! You submit to you here. You strong. You survive! Stay alive, no matter what occurs. I will find you. No matter how long it takes, no matter how far. 
I will find you. Would the Huron make his Algonquin brothers foolish with brandy and steal his lands to sell them for gold to the white man? Would Huron fool Seneca into taking all the furs of all the animals of the forest for beads and strong whiskey? Those are the ways of the Yengis and the Francais traders. I'm Nathaniel of the Yengis. Hawkeye, adopted son of Chingachgook of the Mohican people. I came here because I thought I could persuade you to break away from all that. Don't you understand how much I want to marry you? And why should we dream away another year? I'm not sure I do understand, Newland. Is there someone else? Someone else? Between you and me? If I'd made some sort of a mistake, would I be down here asking you to hurry our marriage? I don't know. You might. There are no promises that matter. That's all I've been trying to say. There is no one between us. There is nothing between us, May. She thinks I want to marry her at once <clears throat> to get away from someone that I care for more. Because there is no other woman? No, because I don't mean to marry anyone else. This other woman, does she love you too? There is no other woman. I mean, the person that May was thinking of was never... May guess the truth. There is another woman, only not the one she thinks. But you are the woman I would have married if it had been possible for either of us. You can say that when you're the one who's made it impossible. I've made it. Isn't it you who made me give up divorcing? I swore I wouldn't call you unless you turned around. But I didn't look around on purpose. Well, you see, it's no use. It's better if we face each other. I only want to be honest with you. Honest? Isn't that why you always admired Julius Beaufort? He was more honest than the rest of us, wasn't he? We've no character. I'm the man who married one woman because another one told him to. What about how May feels? If you're using my marriage as some victory of ours, then there's really no reason on earth why you shouldn't go back. You gave me my first glimpse of a real life. And then you told me to carry on with a false one. medal that was ever in our house. The medal I won at football. I could never do anything good enough for you. And after the game, you came up to me and you said, you said, Jerry, did you foul the ball? Delayed shock. Delayed shock. Never mind delayed shock. I've been like this since I was seven. Do <laughs> you know what that means? Means words don't mean that. Stop this. Huh? Only this time I got everyone in the trouble. It doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm no good anyhow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Are you doing it deliberately? Stop it. Are you doing it deliberately? Did you call that a fucking dick, eh? Did you call that a fucking dick? Hit me harder. Hit me like. Hit me fucking harder. Hit me fucking harder. Huh? I want to see your fucking life. Hit me like a real father. The case is hereby dismissed. Yeah. 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 Jordan, he was an innocent man. I'm a free man, and I'm going out the front door. In the back of her majesty. I'm an innocent man. I spent 15 years in prison for something I didn't do. I watched my father die in a British prison for something he didn't do until the guilty ones are brought to justice. I will fight on in the name of my father and of the truth. Yeah, I may think of you softly from time to time, but I will cut off my hand before I reach for you again. If you cry words against my wife, it will be the end of you. I come only to save my innocent wife. I'm not giving my wife to vengeance! Then explain to me why you will because not... Because it is my name! I cannot have another in my life! I have given you my soul. Leave me my name! 
You will give me your honest confession in my hand. <sighs> I can't keep doing what we're doing, Muggy. You know what I'm saying, come on. Yeah. You're a dangerous fucking woman. Well, this is, this is okay, this is, this is all right. What? This is us. Don't put a name on it. All this talk, Maggie. Kidding ourselves. I love you. We're not kids anymore, Danny. And we are. For 14 years I was locked up. And my feelings were locked up inside of me. And when I got in the ring again, you can't imagine the relief it was to feel the pain. To be back in the world again. I can give you up in my head, but my body's crying out for you. and not to see me. It's good to see you, Ike. A big IRA boy who didn't give him a party? Where's all your big men now? Take it easy, Ike. Take it easy? Five, you can help I'll fucking six, kill him. Come on, get up, get up, Seven, get up, get up, eight. eight. You're not ready. Yeah, enough, son. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Oh. You okay? Can you continue? By the ancient laws of combat, we are met at this chosen ground to settle for good and all. And may the Christian Lord guide my hand! Against your Roman popery! Prepare to receive the true Lord! You know how I stayed alive this long? All these years? Fear. Somebody steals from me, I cut off his hands. He offends me, I cut out his tongue. He rises against me. I cut off his head, stick it on a pike. Raise it high up so all in the streets can see. Oh, you got a murderous rage in you, and I like it. Oh, it's life boiling up inside of you. It's good. That, my friends, is the minority vote. Now you tasted my mutton. How do you like it, huh? To defeat my enemy, I extinguish his life and consume him as I consume these flames. I took him under my wing, and see how I'm repaid. He saves my life one day, so he can kill me the next, like a sneak thief, unworthy of a noble name. Oh, Jesus! We need to tenderize this meat a little bit. All right, let's kiss goodnight to that pretty young face of yours. He ain't earned a death at my hands. No, he'll walk amongst you marked with shame. I get too big for me. Do you not think we should get somebody in to help? Who? A maid? You shall take care I of things. I took care of well, things. We took care of things. Now I'm sick. The kid needs a woman around the place, and so do I. What about my kids? Well, that goes without saying. Oh, it used to be a commune, 60 people living here, give or take at one time. They are trying to rebuild society on a small scale. It was an experiment. I've made a mess of a lot of things in my life. And I don't have time to pay for them. I'm sorry. You were right. I was scared. Was the happiest man, Rosie? No, was. Where are you going? I'm going to try and make a transaction. She's leaving by tomorrow night. Really? To stay in this godforsaken.
place for tonight. I don't want to lie down in here. God. This place gives me the creeps. <clears throat> you should let me know what you know, and uh, then we'll try and work something out. I, uh, I enjoy all faiths. I don't belong to one church in particular. I, I like them all. I like everything. We have oil, and it seeps through the ground. Do you want to pay me to know well, where Just because there's something on the ground doesn't mean there's anything beneath it. Just tell me one thing to help me decide. What else have you got up there? What do you grow? We have a big ranch, but it's mostly rocks. Here's five hundred dollars. Tell me something worth hearing. This money's yours. Listen, Paul. If I travel all the way up there and I find that you've been lying to me, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna take more than my money back. I have a competition in me. I, I want no one else to succeed. I hate most people. That part of me is gone. I look at people and I see nothing worth liking. I see the worst in people, Henry. I don't need to look past seeing them to get all I need. Is there a sinner here looking for God? Yes. So say it now. I am a sinner. I'm a sinner. Say it louder. I am a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm sorry, Lord. I want the blood. I want the blood. You have abandoned your child. I've abandoned my child. I, I have abandoned my child. I abandoned my child. Say it louder. Say it louder. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my boy! Do you accept Jesus Christ as your savior? Yes, I do. You don't tell me how to raise my family. I told you not to tell me how to raise my family. So what do you see? I'm very happy for you that- Yes, I made a deal with Union. My son is happy, he's safe. Congratulations. I'm taking care of him now, so... The Lord sometimes challenges us, doesn't he, Lord? Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Daniel, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh. That land has been had. Nothing you can do about it. It's gone. It's had. If you would just you lose. take this lease, Daniel. Drain it! Drain it, Eli, you boy. My straw reaches across the room. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Did you think your song and dance and your superstition would help you, Eli? I am the third revelation. 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 <laughs> You kill your film several times, <laughs> mostly by talking about it. A film is a dream. You, you kill it writing it down, you kill it with a camera. You, the film might come to life for a moment or two and your actors breathe life back into it, but then it dies again, buried in film cans. And sometimes I've been lucky. The dream flickers back to life again. You want me to be serious in a press conference? I thought I was the clown in this uh, circus. <laughs> Especially when my body is nearing 50 as my mind is nearing 10. I want to be young and I want to be old. I would like to be wise before my time and yet be foolish and crash and bold. I am lasting for more. Should I settle for less? I dearly regret 
There's only one of me I've ever met Would like the universe to get down on its knees and say Guido, whatever you please is okay Even if it's ridiculous, we'll arrange it Page one Page one, page one <laughs> Page nothing You have to understand, this is nothing This is what I do, I direct That's my job And this is our life What will you do after the war? And I cannot cut hair. I've yet to find a man who could cut mine so it'd make any difference. My last barber hanged himself. Oh. <laughs> and the one before that. <laughs> Left me his scissors in his will. <laughs> You're an engineer. You must know Euclid's axioms and common notions. I never had much of schooling, but I read Euclid in an old book I borrowed. Little enough ever found its way in here, but once learned, it stayed learned. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. That's a rule of mathematical reasoning. It's true because it works. We begin with equality. That's the origin, isn't it? That's justice. I can't accomplish a goddamn thing of any human meaning or worth until we cure ourselves of slavery and end this pestilential war. This amendment is that cure. Blood's been spilled to afford us this moment. Now, now, now. Two votes stand in its way. These votes must be procured. So you got a night and a day and a night and several perfectly good hours. Now get the hell out of here and get them. I am the president of the United States of America, clothed in immense power. You will procure me these votes. Once he surrenders, send his boys back to their homes, their farms, their shops. Liberality all around, not punishment. I don't want that. And the leaders, Jeff and the rest of them, they escape, leave the country while my back's turned. That wouldn't upset me none. begin my day with a confrontation. I simply don't have time for confrontations. Is there something I'm unaware of? Because as far as I can remember, all I have done is to dress her beautifully. Chic? Oh, don't you start using that filthy little word. Chic. Whoever invented that ought to be spanked in public. I don't, I don't even know what that word means. As I think you know, Alma, I prefer my asparagus with oil and salt. And knowing this, you have prepared the asparagus with butter. I, I if it's my life that you're describing, it's entirely up to you whether you choose to share it or not. If you don't wish to share that life, as apparently it's so disagreeable to you in every respect, why don't you just fuck off to back where you came from? Fuck. What is the it? dress pack? Miss Rose is sleeping. Well, that's got nothing to do with the dress. Can you go and get it for me, please? Go and take the dress off her and bring it to me right away. There's too much movement. It's entirely too much movement at breakfast. Mrs. Vaughan is satisfied with the dress. No one gives a tinker's fucking curse about Mrs. Vaughan's satisfaction. Don't put the tray on the table, please. Just take it off. The tea is going out. The interruption is staying right here with me.